I know. And you can tell Stephen A is, has always been sober from this invitation. Yeah, right. yeah, this is someone who does not. Yeah. He's never been high. No. Last time most of us saw you, you obviously had you were dealing with. Is there a mic that you could talk to? I apologize. Appreciate you guys sitting here being patient, but I, I can't really hear you. Can you speak to the mic or something? Or Sure. Can you hear me now? Is this better? Yeah, appreciate you, bro. Okay. Uh, two questions. One, the last time most of us saw you, you were dealing with the ankle. Um, how are you health-wise? Is that 100%? And secondly, we can only presume that you're not joining us right now because of... You know, I'm curious, is that accurate? And if so... Uh, or do you expect to be either vaccinated or compliant in time by the time you guys come back from L.A. after that postseason game, after the preseason game? Yeah, no, Brian, I appreciate your questions, bro. Honestly, I, I like to keep that stuff private, man. I'm a, I'm a human being first, and obviously living in this public sphere, um, it's just a lot of questions about what's going on and, you know, in the world of, of Kyrie, and, and I think I, I just uh, would love to just keep that private and, um, you know, handle it the right way with, uh, my team, and uh, go forward uh, together uh, with with the plan. So, you know, obviously, I'm not able to be present there today, um, but that doesn't mean that I'm I'm putting any limits on the future of me being uh, able to join the team. And I just want to keep it that way. So, if we can keep that private. If anybody has any further questions about that, please, it'd be the same response. I would like to keep that private, um, and just please respect that. Oh! <laughs> Out there with the guys. Brian Mahoney, AP. Hey, Kyrie, can you hear me okay? Yeah, yeah, I can. Okay, thank you. Um, I understand you want to keep this private. What? And I do think that I do think there's, you know, people should have privacy to a certain extent, but uh, people are speculating. Next question. Uh, hey, that hit the spot. Right? Hey, what's up? problems with the athletic. Uh, what is it about the vaccine that, that makes you uh, hesitant to, to, to get it? Uh, I, I would start with, um, I've, I've had COVID um, in the past. And so our, our understanding of antibodies, of natural immunity has uh, changed a, a great deal from the onset of the pandemic and is still evolving. Um, I understand that the vaccine would uh, um, help if, if, if you catch COVID and uh, you'll be able to have less symptoms um, from contracting it. But with me having COVID in the past and having antibodies um, with my current um, age group and uh, uh, fitness, physical fitness level, um, it's not necessarily a fear of mine. Uh, taking the vaccine, um, like I said, it would decrease my chances of uh, uh, having a severe reaction, but it does open me up to the, albeit rare chance, but the possibility of having an adverse reaction to the vaccine itself. Um, I don't believe that being unvaccinated means infected or being vaccinated means um, uninfected. You can still catch COVID um, with or with not having the vaccine. Um, I would say, honestly, the, the, the craziness 